Okay, so part of the fun of starting to make your own games and stuff is to get some cool and, and interesting graphics and things going um, for your game. Um, and one, uh, probably the most fun way to do it is to make the graphics yourself. Um, but if that's not something that you're interested in doing, um, then the next uh, best approach is going to be use what's called sprite sheets. So if I Google uh, character sprite sheets, or just sprite sheet, okay, that's going to bring up a uh, just a bunch of uh, pictures. So these are called sprite sheets. Um, and what they are is just a collection of pictures that if you um, if you cut them up, they can make different 2D animations when played in sequence. Um, so there's all kinds of all kinds of stuff out there that you can go check out, you know, on the internet. Um, you can even you can even get into like specific characters, like um, like I could I could put in Mega Man, right? And that's going to come up with, you know, Mega Man sprite sheets. Okay. Um, so here we have one over here. I'm going to click on this one. Let's see what happens. Now, this might not be a transparent one. This one is over here. Um, so the hard part will be. Let's see if I can. Google Lens. I don't even know what Google Lens is. Go back. This could be a terrible plan. Okay. We would want to download. Right now, this is 860 by 604, so this is going to look awful. Um, but if I click on it, I'm going to guess that we're going to get a school... Oh, no, we're good. All right, we're in. All right, so. Um, so this is giving me a, a resolution 629 by 524. That's not fantastic, but it's going to be okay. Um, so I'll just right click on this and click save image as. Okay, and we'll just click save. Okay, so that puts it on my uh, uh, in my downloads folder. So if I open this up, it's going to show up here on this other screen. What you want to do is just get the sprite that you're interested in. So maybe I want this little guy right here. This one, okay? Um, so what I need to do is crop that guy out. So I'm going to hit the crop tool here. And now you can use Photoshop to do this. Um, you can use just the uh, photo editor right here to do it. Um, This is some fantastic, some fantastic lag. There we go. All right, so I'm going to click crop and rotate. All right, and we're just going to kind of bring in the borders. On the sprite that we want. Okay, so you want to snug it up as close as you can without like deleting some of the picture. But the closer you can get to like the parts of his body, the better it's going to look in your game. Okay, so you don't want a lot of transparent area around him. All right, and then you just hit save a copy.
and then that's how you would so you would do a sprite. So this would be uh, Mega Man One. Okay. Um, you can see perhaps how much time this would take if you decided to split out every single. They could save that one, huh? Well, whatever. Um, if you decided to split out every single one of these guys, right? It would take forever. Okay, so you're just going to get a couple pictures. Um, I'll make a video follow-up here to show you how to switch between pictures using a timer so you can get like a little animation effect. But I wouldn't do more than like two pictures in animation. It's just not... Um, let's see. Is it going to let me... If this phase fails again, we'll just pretend it worked. All right? I think we're good. All right, so then you can crop out more, okay, um, as, uh, as you want, however many pictures you want. And then you would use the set picture to swap between them, right, like we did for the happy and sad face. Remember how we changed the happy, sad face picture? You do the same thing to change between sprites from a sprite sheet. Um Obviously, this spreadsheet is 629 by 524, so these guys are going to be really tiny. Okay, the, even on your even on your app screen, they're going to be really tiny. Um, so you want to keep that in mind too. Uh, the bigger the sprite sheet, the bigger the graphic will be. Um, and you can you can put in just about anything. So like wall sprites, okay, um, if you want, and then it'll get some different terrain sets. Okay, um, if you want to make your game have different kind of walls, here's a bunch of different kind of walls over here. Um, you know, down here, a bunch of different kind of walls. Ones that have the checkerboard pattern and behind it, those are going to be transparent. Okay, um, and then of course you can you cut those out using crop uh, cropping tools, just like we did before. Like this uh, this kind of stuff here is like the kind of thing you can do like a Sonic. Uh, like a Sonic the Hedgehog kind of map with that, with these slopes. You see that? Um, so lots of stuff out here. Lots of cool stuff on the internet. You can go out and and uh, play around with, cut it up, um, and and see what what kind of cool you know games you can make. This is also the kind of stuff where uh, you can get going on it, and then it's Friday afternoon, and you haven't actually made your game. <laughs> um, so don't spend too much time on the art part, okay? You, you spend a little bit of time on the art, okay? And then you make a game, and then you spend more time on the art to make your game even better. Does that make sense? Um, so that's, uh, that's, that. that's how you do that. Um, you can also use Photoshop to crop this stuff. I think we have Photoshop. Yeah, it'll be Photoshop 2020. I'm going to pause here. But by using Photoshop's layers, where are they? Where are the layers? I haven't used Photoshop in a long time. I'm poor, so I'll use the GIMP instead. There it is, layers, right? Okay, got it. Got the layers. Okay, so th I mean, this is the background layer. So you don't want to you don't want to do art in the background layer. Instead, what you want to do is create a new layer. Uh, on top of that, and then you can draw using your stylus. Oh, oh that's the selector. Paintbrush. There we go. All right, so you can draw using the stylus. Right, you can draw your little your little graphic, and then if you hide the background layer, then you have your own little. Stylus. Okay, so I could I could export this as a PNG and then put it into my game. And if I want to be particularly awesome, I can do another layer, and then you you just kind of redraw it, but in a slightly different position. Okay, and then you can kind of get this kind of animation effect going on. Okay, you make different images. It's kind of fun.
All right. Um, and, uh, and then there's all kinds of stuff. I mean, Photoshop is fantastic, but then you can export those little images as your sprites if you didn't want to use a sprite sheet. Um, obviously, I'm an exceptional line artist here. So we could do some fire. Right. Now I'm just now I'm just having a good time. Where's my where's my color picker? I just make some fire. Right? Fire burning. Okay, lots of lots of cool things you can do. You use Photoshop too if you wanted to and kind of make your own thing. Um so there you go. That's that.